Alright guys, I'm not going to go over the buttons and everything that I've covered in the other videos. If you missed that, you're just going to have to go back. But I just wanted to get you a visual on, on just messing around with the throttle and everything and how I kind of mess with the thing. A lot of it is really just going on the right bound. So you kind of get a feel for it with each car when you got good control and um, when the thing's going to lift up nice and smooth. You don't want to go flying up in the air too fast because then you lift the tires off of the ground the back tires uh, and um just gets out of control but once you get good i mean you, you know when to take off here and, and with good timing i mean i'm just shifting gears here after second gear i hadn't tapped the brakes at all i was just timing the uh the clutch and everything and shifting gears on the bounce and, and that's pretty much all it is, is is really just getting um the timing down of the bounces and, and like I said before you just are holding it extra long if uh, if you wanted to get get it to bounce higher you just hold it down longer if you're just almost where you want to be and you just want to get a little more of a pop out of it you just do one more quick tap and then usually you'll, you'll ride a nice wheelie stay under control and still be able to race afterwards which is really the whole idea here as you can see, I did do a uh, Camaro and a and a Stradale friggin' wheelie tune. I didn't like either one of them really. The Camaro doesn't hold a good wheelie, and then the, the Stradale just gets out of control, and it's kind of a waste. It's a million dollar car. It's the fastest drag car. It's kind of a waste to have um, a wheelie set up on the thing. But I just wanted to see how it handled. Th this thing's probably my next favorite. Um, I've definitely got some of the longest wheelies and, and some good clean drag races out of it But a lot of people were saying they're having trouble getting good races and people um, Aren't lining up with them and this is the other thing I do here all the time And you can see it in some of the videos you just wait till people come back from the drag race And they're gonna drag race back to the starting line anyway So um, you just gotta wait till it says that their um, events are finished and they're gonna return and they basically are going to be right in between those two lines um, after the uh, the starting line. But like I said, most people get it. Me and this dude were racing all day. He uh, he totally understood. I mean, we were doing different cars and everything. And what's nice is he, he was rear-wheel drive too. So whenever I get a little out of control, I still had a shot. I don't use my microphone, so I mean, I do message people and try to get them, you know, with the program and everything, but like I said, if, if not, you just line up with them at the other end of the track. This was awesome. I got to get this um, recorded in slow motion, but this dude was flying alongside of me. I took off, and I knocked him up on the highway, and he actually landed there perfectly. This dude's on my friends list, too, but I thought that was pretty funny. I'll get a way better uh, clip of that later on, but like I said, go back and watch some of the other videos, and I'm going to post some more tunes soon and everything, but as always, guys, thanks for watching.